There are still a lot of questions about this new variant, and we're sure you have some as well. Of course, one thing people are wondering, we get a flu shot every year because of different strains. We already are getting the booster shots for COVID, so will we need to get more boosters now because of this new variant? Yeah, we talked with Dr. Vanessa Walker of Pulmonary Medical Associates and Dr. Dean Blumberg, a pediatric infectious disease expert with UC Davis. It's going to take time for us to see how this plays out as to whether or not we need boosters uh, more frequently than when you, we would typically expect, uh, like we do with influenza. The reason why it might be more likely that that would be the case is because with influenza, we get a break, right? It, it goes around. It's seasonal. COVID isn't seasonal. It's always there. And so and it's always going to be there, unfortunately. We're just at the beginning of understanding how immunization protects against COVID. We know that it protects very well, but we're still not sure if the optimal initial series is a two or three dose series, how long that's going to last, whether we're going to need boosters every year or every 10 years or whether the boosters will need to be changed and to adapt to the current circulating strains. These are all questions and we just don't have answers yet. Scientists at BioNTech expect more data on Omicron from lab tests within two weeks. It will let them know whether the variant can escape immunity and require them to then tweak the vaccine. The companies have said they could begin shipping first batches of an updated vaccine within 100 days if needed. Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca and Novavax, they're all saying they're studying that new variant too.